In this video, we will not talk about the camera only. All these scenes I and you can shoot with no mirror camera. For interesting result, I work with set design, actor clothes, light setups, camera movement, and color grade. Also, a few words about Redco Model 6K camera. This is a very small and light box that has uh, characteristics of a very serious camera like a Gemini or Helium. The red camera has 800 or 4 sensitive, so I tried to work with exposition with the help of lighting and lenses. The camera and grip set consisted of Kuki 7S cinema lenses and Danadoli slider with heavy head. I choose the cookie lens just because I love the smooth and cinematic image look of this lens. And Donadolla is for smooth slide camera movement. Let's talk about light setup and set design. In the first scene, you can see the key light here and bounce light here. We used every HMI 1200 watts like a key light and styrofoam for the bounce light. All cameras can give the interesting shot if you use the big dynamic range in the scene. I mean the light and shadows. Almost all scenes are built with light technique in such way that they have shadows and light areas. That's why the scenes will not have flat light. This is also needed for dramatic aesthetics. The straight flow of our light is very hard and bright. We used soft diffusion frost. This gives us the soft shadows and soft lights. In this area you can see beams of light. This happened because we didn't soften this area with soft frost diffusion and we used the haze machine in this scene. The black textile are used for blocking excess flight flow. If we remove it, the RE source will fill all space by the light. This will be not good. About Komodo, I use maximal settings of recording for better quality. The camera has a very big problem in the low light scenes, where is an awful noise in the shadows. If you work in the dark scene, I advise a little bit up the exposition with light or f-stop lens. And then on the post-production you can darken the mid-tones and shadows. In this scene, I made a mistake with the exposition. In the room it was quite dark and I thought that the image was lit sufficiently. But on the post-production I found that the shot didn't have enough information in the shadows. As a result, then trying to rise the shadows, I got the noise. The light set of this scene consists of two key sources. They are Ari 1200 watts with cold gel filter and warm ace 650 watts. Our light bounces from the white textile. Just because the bounce light has a soft and diffusion tone on the set. And for a little feeling to the shadows and flare in the eyes of the main character, they put the Godox 300 wheel from the camera side. It worked with 1% of power. If you want to get the cinematic image, you don't have to buy an expensive and cinema camera. With this result you can get with any other camera, which has good dynamic range. The Red Komodo is a very good camera. It is very compact and light. It has very well dynamic range and resolution. It's definitely worth its money. But you should remember that only one good camera will not make a cinematic image out of your shooting. 
you will definitely need expressive actors, clothes, interesting decoration, work with light and set design. Thank you for watching. Check my website to get more information about working with light and set design. Bye.